After Gray holds here, Joel and Melody return back to the village. Village. And after getting Natsu go onto the wagon, well, after putting him in a box with enough food, supplies, and the food and supplies had tranquilizers. After they all got done with that, they all went back to their own rooms. Rooms in the hotel. With Gray and Ulti returning back to their adopted son, Scott. Who was in fact still asleep. Gray and Ulti couldn't really blame him. He spent months trying to get some good food and trying to stay off the menu for certain dangerous animals out there. So, they still have some plenty of alone time. Well, that went better than I thought. Yeah, it did, old tear. It did. I was surprised at the fact that it, it was easier than I thought. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Bolt here? Yeah, Gray? Can I ask you something? What is it? I know your mother, but... Who is your father? Old here so quiet. She was afraid that Gray was gonna ask her that. She actually doesn't have any memories of her father. I don't know my father. Gray was shocked about this. You don't know your father? No. I remember that you mentioned him once when we first met. It was before we decided to fight each other. Well, you were the one who started it. Well, technically, no, you were the one who started it because if you allowed me to kill Ju Julia, then we would have had less trouble to get here. Good point, but... Why you don't... Yeah, I don't know who my father is. You mentioned him once, though. Yeah, but that's all I can remember. I mentioned him once to you, and I... Yeah. I honestly do not know who my father is. Then, why wasn't he with your mother? I thought, I think it was because she admired magic too much. Do you really believe that, or... I don't think so, I think he had another reason why he left. But besides that, I don't know who my father is. Well, maybe we might run into him one day. I don't know. Gray was shocked about this. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I kind of look like my mother, in a way. Just red eyes and long, long hair. And the fact that I committed too many crimes, <laughs> I highly doubt he would will want to see me. Gray just remembered about that. Come on, you're his daughter, though. Yeah, I just rather prefer not to meet my father. Then, how would you know why he left your mother, then? Like I said, I assume it's because my mother admired magic too much. I don't admire magic that much at all. To be honest. Neither do I.
but still, if I at least gotten a little bit of information about him, maybe I would have figured out what happened to him. But until then, I, I don't know a thing about him. Greg could help to feel bad about Bolt here. The only parent she actually ever knew known was her mother or his teacher. That was basically that. She never knew her father, which to Gray was quite surprising. And not just that, and she did mention him once, but that was just it. And it even surprised Gray that the fact that she barely went out to look for him. Gray originally thought that she was originally going to find her father and figure out why he left her mother there and her. But instead, she she did it, and she didn't even, she didn't even go out to look for him. That surprised Gray a lot. Huh, that's surprising. Why's that? I thought you went out to go look for your father there after you saw or with me and Leon. I honestly thought you went out to go find him. You actually thought I was going to find him? Yeah. I never knew that you had no interest at all to find him. Gray noticed that there was something else bothering Ultir a lot. What is it, Ultir? It's the fact that my mom died. I know she's watching over us, but... I would have liked it a lot better if I got a chance to see her again in person. So I can apologize to everything. And get a little bit of information about my father. But I didn't care that much about him. Well, I do. Just a little. I'll give anything to see my mother again. Gray didn't lie. He wanted to see Or again, too. He wanted to see his master again. But then again, how would he tell her that the fact that he's in a relationship with her own daughter? Now is this going to be a bit more complicated story? But then again, Ultir can use time magic, but she never tested it to go back in time. To a time where a certain thing, where Or's death happened. Can your time magic go back in time? No, I don't think so. But you can't, like, reverse the effect. Like you, like when you were still evil, you reverse the effects by what happened to your ship when when it got destroyed, and you just like prepared, well, fix it as if it was like nothing by using the time magic. That's the thing. I can only do that with objects. It's, I can also reverse the time when certain people die. Right? Only at this time. Not a time where it happened years and years ago. If if you can find me a wizard that can is gonna go back all the way back in time when when or when my mother died, then I would gladly to meet I would love to meet that wizard. So, 
then again, I think I got a better idea. This got Gray's attention. Oh, what's that? I want to... Eh, never mind. I was interested on stopping my younger self from leaving my mother. Just go back with her. If I do that, then I'll never meet Aunt Melody. And you would have possibly killed or at her, or at her place. Not if if she was with you on on that mission, or with one of your friends. Well, if you want to find the wizard who can basically go back, has the ability to go back in time, then I'm down all of that. If you don't want to, then yeah. It's perfectly fine by me. Well, we're gonna leave someone to keep an eye on Scott. We can ask Melody. She doesn't do that much. Good point. I'll go get her. Plus, I heard that it was going to take a lot longer for those dragon creatures to wake up. So we got plenty of time. About a few hours later, Gray and Old Tear actually managed to track down a wizard who actually has the ability to go back in time. And Gray and Old Tear were luckily enough to find her. So, you have the ability to go back in time. Yes, I do. Now, what time would you like me to who, who take you? Well, I want to go back to a time where her mother died. By the hand, well, by sacrificing herself by using ice shell. Gray explained the whole thing and told the wizard, the year went or died. Gray and Old Tear had plans on actually stopping, well, actually killing Delior where he was standing in the first place. It's before or use Ice Shell. I gotta warn you, you cannot reveal yourselves on who you are. Because if you do, then everything will most likely will change. <laughs> Got it? Okay, okay. So, what is he have planned? And for your fake names. Uh, fake names? Gray and Ultra did not see this coming. The fact that they need gr fake names to disguise themselves so that way, way they won't be able to be you know, revealed to their past selves. Also, you most likely might have to change your appearance, like it, like dye your hair a different color or just wear different clothes. So that way, your past selves won't remember that moment where you saved Orr's life. If you killed Eliora. This is a lot to take in. Well, that's the result on going back in time. So, are you still down for that? Yes, yes.